Hi, survivors. It's me, Purpose and reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. People are losing their mind, their money, everything behind these ugly agendas, allegedly. Now, this is um, this is what's going on in, in Colorado. You know, we're talking about the mass shooting in Colorado Springs. My hearts and prayers going out to all the families, everybody who's affected, that whole entire community. Y'all, we're living in some troubling times, y'all, and it continues all these different shootings occurring, you know. It says that right now, according to right now, it's still early, at least five people were killed and 25 others wounded in a shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. Uh, Colorado, according to the police, authorities say that the suspected shooter, identified as a 22-year-old man, is in custody and receiving medical treatment. Police praised at least two heroic people inside the club who confronted the gunman and stopped the attack. Authorities said the shooting will be investigated as a potential hate crime. A daily mass shooting has rocket, rocked the community of Colorado Springs, where police say this man entered into uh, a LGBTQ nightclub and opened fire. Um, they say it's too early to determine if it was a hate crime. Um, the heroes who stopped the nightclub attack took the shooter's handgun and hit him with it. I don't know all the de details, but I do know with these demon rats, all kinds of evil is going on. And then when something go on, they usher in their agenda. I'm not saying what this is the case, allegedly. I don't trust them as far as I see them, but I'm not saying that it has anything related to do with this. I'm just saying it's everything doing related to these times we're living in under this poor leadership. Um, it says that, um, just a second, it says Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers committed the true act of hero heroism that prevented the tragedy inside the club queue from becoming even worse. The call came into police by 1157 PM local time. Uh, police were on the scene by 12 o'clock An amazingly quick response. The incident was over by 1202. So that was in a time frame of five minutes. Southers told uh, the reporters on Sunday, and that's largely because of the intervention of at least one, possibly two very heroic individuals who subdued this guy, appeared to have taken his handgun. He had a handgun with him, and they used it to disable him. Not shoot him, but to hit him with the gun and disable him, the mayor said. Um, said this. Souther said that as tragic as this incident is, it's a horrible crime. It could have been much, much worse but for these heroic actors. Um, epidemic of gun violence in America has struck again. I knew it. This is coming from the VP. And yeah, they, oh, man, I'm telling you, man, I don't trust these people, man. They be doing some stuff. Now, the VP said the epidemic of gun violence in America has struck again in Colorado Springs. Our hearts are with the families and loved ones of the five people killed and all those injured, the LGBTQ. I plus community should be able to enjoy a night out, a night out without fear, as should all Americans. Nineteen of the twenty-five people hurt in the club Q attack were shot. Um, the mayor says. So y'all, we just see all these things that's still unfold that's unfolding in this country. This ugly stuff. It's really, really ugly, and we might as well put our seatbelts on because y'all, I'm telling y'all, this stuff is gonna get worse. That's why it's important for us to, uh, you know, stay protecting yourself, stay having something to protect yourself. Even when you go out, if you have to be careful, I don't know what city and state you're living in, because in some states it's illegal to have things to protect yourself. Other states, it's not. But, y'all, we living in some bad times right now, and um, I really hate that this happened to these people. Um, I'm sending my prayers and my my heart, my my love to you guys. You know, people should be able to go out and have a good time and not have to be worried about violence or just going about your daily d duties, whether it's a job or whatever, and shouldn't have to be worried about violence. We shouldn't have to be worried about the stuff when we're, where we're in our homes. But guess what? They setting all this stuff up to be that way. I wouldn't be surprised if they let the shooter get out, allegedly. 
because that's what's been going on over here in this country. People that's ravishing the communities, they get to get out on bond. They get to get out of jail. And the people who shouldn't be in there are in there right now in this America that we're living in, allegedly. So please be careful um, that you're going and you're coming. And like me, I, I, I just don't do the club thing anyway. But that could have happened anywhere. And not to say that people shouldn't be able to go to clubs. People should be able to do what they want to do as long as it's legal and it's not hurting other people. But uh, we're living in some troubles in time, y'all. This stuff is going to get worse out here. And I hate to say that, but those are just facts. In the last two years, it just seemed like we've been going through hell. And the plot continues to thicken. Hug, hug and love on your family members like you never have before. Make sure that you know each other whereabouts. And make sure you try to avoid going to places where it's going to be a lot of people if you can. You know, or, you know, or it might just be questionable. You know, we hear stuff go on in grocery stores and everybody got to eat. So we just have to be very, 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 very careful. Very, very careful, y'all. I wish everybody the best. Please follow me on my other, on my other platforms. Sign up for the free newsletter at purposeand.com if you're looking for land and bug out areas in Texas to get out of these nasty, violent cities. We have some for sale and for lease. And as always, watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil your water before you use it. Keep surviving. Purposeand.com.